Hey, what's happening guys? I am starting this video in the dark, as you can tell. We're in my kitchen, and I don't know how well you can see that, but it is uh, 9.18 at night. And as I approach the cabinets, they all turn on. Which gives me a really nice little ambient lighting in here. And in just a few seconds, they will each go out. There are one, two, three, four, five lights installed here. And you can see them all go out just like that. So here we are, back in the light of day. As you can see, it is uh, 7 a.m. And here are the lights. Well, here's one of them, anyway. Let's take this into the uh, studio and have a look at it. But uh, first of all, let me show you how it's mounted. This uh, is steel. And they give you these nice little... Uh, adhesive pads I'm sorry this is not steel this is a piece of metal there's a magnet inside the lamp so they just go up like that it's really nice and easy all right I'm not setting up the video capture for this little thing um, here it is this is LED closet light with charging station 20 LEDs dimmer rechargeable motion sensor under cabinet lighting with remote control Wireless stick anywhere night safe light bar for wardrobe kitchen and uh, I got five of them for $39 Of course, I didn't pay that these were sent out free of charge for our consideration by light biz So let's take a look at them All right, so here's one of the units And it's just a little over six inches long about an inch and a half wide a half inch thick and you can see there is a decal here and some instructions warm tip turn on off long press to switch change mode single press to switch night mode blue day mode red always on red and blue and you can see there is a little switch here on this side you have a USB-C charging port along with these two little contacts and those little contacts go to this nice little charging station that came with it and if you look down in there you can see there's no there's no USB-C down in there it's more light in the subject yeah there's no USB-C down in there there's just those little nails are they pogo pins Yes, they are. They are spring-loaded little nails. And all you have to do is drop this in here like that. And it will start charging, which is how I'm using them. And I think that that is a very nice and easy way to use them. But if you were... Long press, turn off. If you were so inclined, you could wire them up so that they would always be getting, you know, whatever voltage it is they need, 5 volts from the USB-C. And you'd never have to charge them. But for me, it's not a big deal. I just keep the charger over there by the toaster. And I've had these for about two weeks now. And I have them on the uh, automatically come on at night. I've had to charge them once. That's it. Just one time.
Okay, let's see if we can get in here. And see what there is to see. All right. Let's get that on a tray. Nice. If you don't know what that was a reference to, you should definitely check out. Hang on, I got to look it up. Make sure I give you the right channel. It is Steve, S T E V E, nineteen eighty nine M R E info. If you have some free time, do yourself a favor and check that out. Okay. So looking in here now. We see our LEDs. Oh, there we go. All right. So we got a single sided PCB. We have our LEDs around the edge. We have an, a, a driver chip. I don't know how well if you can tell that. But they've either laser ablated it or used some sort of a uh, abrasive. They removed it. Whatever that chip may have been, we shall never know. Here is our infrared receiver for the remote control. These resistors are interesting. I wonder if they are actually resistors or if they are just... Uh, links because like there's a real resistor that looks like just link well i know just how to tell let me grab a multimeter or as ben heck might say a multimeter today's flavor of multimeter will be the e-tech city msr a1000 really nice meter so we shall put this on resistance Check. Good. Let's see if we can get them both in the picture. And we'll check out resistor number 28 here. Zero. Yeah, those are links. Not resistors. Which is what I figured, since they don't look like resistors. But you never can tell. That guy there appears to be a voltage regulator. Other than that, I do not see anything exciting. On the back, we have the magnet, which is what, you know, lets this thing stick to wherever we want to stick it. And an 800 milliamp hour LiPo battery. I'm looking to see if it has. It looks like it has protection built in, but I can't be quite sure. Yeah, cool. Here's just a little something interesting as I'm, I'm starting to put this back together. We see our USB-C port here. And then you see these two, like, gold-colored pieces of metal. Well, they mount up, or meet up, rather. With those pins in here, and that is what does our charging. All right, guys, I put it back together. It's reassembled. It looks good, and it works still. So I'm going to put that back up under my counter. There is not a real strong feeling that is connected. But you'll see either the blue or the red LED go on when you hit it and it's right. So you'll you'll know. All right, I'd like to thank LightBiz for sending these out to us free of charge for our consideration. And I would like to thank you for sharing your most precious resource with me, your time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to LightBiz. If you're not a patron yet, hey, check it out. There's a link down below. You can see it right here on the screen, www.patreon.com slash learnelectronics, a dollar a month. We'll get you in. We got a Discord. You can meet some of the other folks. That's it. I'm out. Peace.